Hi and welcome to Safe Driver Training. My name is William Grenz and today we'll talk about forklift load capacity. As a forklift operator, you need to understand the capacity of the forklift you are operating. The capacity of the forklift is how much it can load, lift and carry. There are two types of load capacity, the nominal capacity and the rated capacity. The nominal capacity of the forklift is the capacity of the forklift worked out by manufacturer before attachments are fitted. On most forklifts, the model number indicates the nominal capacity. For example, the forklift with model number of 18 can usually lift maximum of 1.8 ton or 1800 kilograms. You just need to imagine a dot between the two numbers. The rated capacity of forklift is the maximum amount the forklift can lift with forks and or attachments fitted to it. It's a specific weight lifted to a specific height at given load center distance in ideal conditions. You can usually find the rated capacity on a forklift by looking at data plate or load rating chart. You can only handle loads within the rated capacity of your forklift as shown on the load capacity plate or the forklift may tip. If the forklift you operate is fitted with any attachments, you must follow the rated capacity and not a nominal capacity. Just to quickly recap, the nominal capacity is the general weight category of the machine. The rated capacity is what the forklift can actually lift with attachments added to a forklift. To work out the capacity of the forklift can lift, we must understand what load center is, because the forklift capacity depends on the position of your load on forks. The center of gravity is a point where object is balanced in all directions, which most of the times means the middle of your load. The load center measured from the face of the forks to the center of gravity of the load. If the load is equally balanced on the pallet, we can find the center of gravity of the load by simply measuring the load and dividing it by 2. If the load is not evenly distributed, for example, it's heavy on one side, there may be a marking on the load showing the center of gravity so you can adjust its position on the forks. You should always position the heaviest parts of the load as close as possible to the face of the forks or the backrest. If we want to lift a standard shape pallet measuring 1200 by 1000 mm and the forks are into the pallet from 1200 mm side all the way to the face of the forks, the load center measured from the center of gravity of the load to the face of the forks. So the load center is 500 mm. But if you pick up the same pallet with a forklift and forks have entered the narrow part of 1000 mm, you get 600 mm load center. If the load 100 mm away from the face of the forks, the load center will be increased by the same distance, giving us 700 mm load center and the rated capacity will be reduced. The longer the load center, the less the weight you can carry. This means that the further you have the load from the face of the forks, the less the forklift can lift before tipping forwards. And now, let's put your knowledge to the test. I have prepared some examples for you. Comment down below how many of them you got right.
All right, if you got all the answers correct, push the like button under the video to secure your knowledge. If not, please go through the video again to make sure you got the right understanding. I have set up the time codes for you in the video description below. Remember, the must tilt, the sash of position and any attachments fitted to forklift will affect lifting capacity as the load center moves forward from the machine. I hope this video was helpful to you and we'll see you in the next one where we'll discuss how to read the data plates and load rating charts. Thank <laughs> you.